All right, welcome to the Texas Hemp Show. This is podcast number 81 this week on the Texas Hemp Show podcast. I am Russell Dowden with the Texas Hemp Reporter magazine. And uh, joining us this week on the program is our good friend Mike Hobble with The Loot. And uh, the loot, give me the loot, as it's hey. as we say. Hi, Mike. How you doing, my friend? Doing awesome. Thank you so much for having us. Right on. We've had you scheduled once or twice before over the last you know month, several months ago, and then I think we we dropped the ball, or we missed you, or we just didn't connect, or you were out of town traveling as you do sometimes. So yep, yep. we got you rescheduled and. And happy to have you on here with us, Mike, and and we appreciate uh, uh, your business here with the with the Texas Hemp Reporter. But Mike uh, owns the Loot, and you have seen his products there at many of the conventions, Lucky Leaf or the Texas Hemp Festivals. Uh, he's often out there with the with a booth here in the in the Lone Star State. You can check his products out online. Um, tell us a little bit about your. Your brand, The Loot, Mike. Awesome. Yeah, I'd be happy to. First of all, Russell, man, thank you so much for, again, for having us and give us an opportunity to talk about the product and uh, showcase the product and things like that. That's just, uh, it's awesome. Thank you for it. Um, the Loot uh, is a, a, a variety of products that uh, are all CBD and e-liquid related to vape and to smoke shops. And the, the main piece behind this is that we, we wanted to create something for vape and for smoke shops that was economical. We saw so many different types of products out there and we've got such a huge customer base in our retail market that was giving us continual feedback on good and bad products that were out there in our stores. And as we, uh, uh, as we were gaining that feedback, we were also implementing some different products out there for our customers to be able to try. And uh, we came up with some, I think, some pretty good blends. And the great thing about it is, is our customers and also our employees working as a family have put this together. And I think that's been uh, a major part of our success is just uh, uh, the feedback and, uh, mm -hmm. and uh, the, the partnerships that we have, not only with our manufacturers, but with the folks that put our branding together. So, well, yeah. your brand, your brand, you're offering the brand to many uh, wholesale buyers you've across the state. I mean, you may be crossing state lines. I, I may not be unaware of, uh, you can tell us about we that are. if you, mm -hmm. if you are, um, what have you learned this last few years as a distributor, uh, as, a, as a wholesaler? And, and, a, and, you know, folks may not know, but you're also a retailer, and we may talk about that a little later in the show. But um, uh, who's buying your product, and, and, and what's, the, what's the wholesale market teaching you? Well, the wholesale market itself is teaching me quite a bit, is that uh, mm -hmm. uh, it's, a, it's a relationship, and it's a networking and, uh, you know, you mentioned earlier that we set up in a lot of booths and mm -hmm. uh, part of that is just networking, not only with other manufacturers, but opportunities and and staying up up to speed with uh, with what's going on in this industry itself. So it's been uh, it's been pretty exciting for us to uh, to learn that we've that's what we've learned mostly in in the uh, uh, in, in the wholesale industry. It is competitive out there. Um, but, uh, you know, we don't, uh, as, as far as competitiveness out there, everybody is basically trying to do the same thing. And I think what sets us apart from everybody else is that we're not an extract company that produces a product and then pushes it into the retail location. We're actually part of that ground level distribution, uh, in the retail industry, getting that feedback and understanding what that market is all about. Plus we're staying plugged in and networking and that gives us the opportunity to create some pretty awesome products at some very economical prices with those relationships that we're building. So it's all about networking and relationships at the end of the day. Yeah. When we, when we came to meet, when we met, I believe it was in the Austin Lucky Leaf 
um, early last year, and um, but we had we had actually done business together with another publication that I owned previously. Uh, the Georgetown location had run some ads with me in Rockstar Magazine some years ago, mm-hmm. and uh, uh, so. Uh, but we did meet with you guys. You guys always have a big spread there in at the conventions for the loot. The brands uh, very visible. Um, the products I've tasted is really good. You always have a good flavor, and and I think your flavors are very unique. And we'll speak to that shortly. Um, but you have a great wholesale price points. Um, what's your biggest mover? I know you have like a salve. You've got the roll-ons. You've got flour. You've got the pre. You, you you have a variety of products. But I think one of the things that's really special about, that you guys do and do well is come up with these crazy flavors. Uh, your customers come back because of the flavors that you guys develop, and I think that that's one of the strengths that uh, uh, you guys have, Mike. It, it is, and part of that with the flavors is is feedback from the customers. They're actually telling us what they like and what they don't like. It comes from months and months and years of testing and just giving out samples and letting our customer base uh, try those and then give us feedback and and. Uh, that's uh, uh, that's a big part of it on on the craziness. But one of our our best products that we have out there for vape shops and for smoke shops, I think particularly is this the brand new product that we have is our gummies. And uh, uh, the gummies we've gone into uh, uh, a, a huge huge industry right there. But the the flavors that we have and the uh, uh, the just from D8, D9, we mm-hmm. have uh, HHC, uh, THCO. We have some others that are coming out here pretty soon. But we have prices that are unbelievable because we're working directly with our manufacturers and they're providing us uh, uh, the, the, the product directly and the packaging. We have something I think that's not only a phenomenal, great flavor, but we also have something that has some some really good price points, and it's it's very easy to get to. It's uh, it's it's quick delivery, especially in the state of Texas here. Um, but uh, like I said, we'll de- we'll deliver anywhere nationwide. You know, Mike, who who comes up with some of these flavors, man? These are some of these are really a trip. I, I lush ice puff bar. Um, Pina colada salt. I, I got to ask. Also, I've been I, I saw some of the products on the, the website. You were working on it last night. You were telling me and I was on there this morning and there's like salts. I, I got to ask what these salts are, too. But I mean, what's puff bar and lush ice? These are these sound pretty exotic. And and, uh, and then you've got like I, I don't know that they're, these salts are like margarita salts. Tell me. Explain well, no. <laughs> some of the, some of this to me. I. I do, am I putting some of these on the rim of my margarita glass, Mike? Well, the uh, the, uh, <laughs> the the funny thing about that is is that those are more of the the e liquid side on the vape side of it. Okay, uh, are those flavors? So you have two different types of uh, of e liquids that are out there. Some that are the the what they call the salts, mm-hmm. and then you have the free base uh, e liquids, and we have about seven different flavors with uh, with the free base and about 18 different flavors with the salts and it's a little bit higher nicotine level but yeah, yeah those flavors are are just spectacular and the puff bar comes back in the day when puff bar was super popular uh, there were a lot of really good flavors that they had and we took those flavors that puff bar had at the time and then we created those in a uh, in a salt base in a in a bottle so that uh, people could continue to enjoy the puff bar flavor since Mm -hmm. that was eliminated from the market at the time. So uh, it's worked out to be really good. Plus we have our own flavors that uh, our customers have given us feedback on, you know, everything from uh, a a pop, Uh uh, uh, I don't know, platinum we have, we have a cake pop, we have a, uh, uh, butterscotch. I mean, there's all sorts of different flavors. Out yeah, there. It's, yeah. It's wonderful. The website. Uh, what's fire the website off again? I have it somewhere written down here, Mike. Uh, thelootjuice.com. Go check out thelootjuice.com. You'll see these products and the uh, flavors that they have. Is quite a variety of them. Uh, stay tuned. We'll be back. Mike Hobble, our guest from the Loot. And uh, check that stuff out online right now, thelootjuice.com. It's Russell and the Texas Hemp Show. 
Podcast number 81. We'll be right back after this, guys. Soul Grown Farms is a proud supporter of the Texas Hemp Show. We are commercial growers of hemp specializing in producing the highest quality of CBD, CBG, and CBN. All of our products have been given an unmatched level of care, which comes from pouring our soul into every aspect of the growing process. Voted Best Hemp in Colorado this year. Our commercial hemp flower is available for white label purchase today by visiting online at soulgrownfarms.com or by calling our commercial farm in Colorado today at 303-598-2311. That's 303-598-2311. We invite you to taste what Colorado already knows. That's at soulgrownfarms.com. At TFNB, your bank for life, we understand the unique struggles this emerging market creates for early adopters. We love working with innovative entrepreneurs on the next big thing, and we believe hemp is exactly that. For over 130 years, we've been getting to know our clients and helping them plan for their future. Come tell us your story and plans for your venture. TFNB Bank, your bank for hemp. Proud to support Texas farmers. Visit online at tfnbtx.com. Hey, this is Cheech Marine, and you're listening to the Texas Hemp Show. The Texas Hemp Show is brought to you by Your Business Here. Why take a chance with your hemp grow? Join Hemp Plan and avoid the risk. TPS Labs exclusive hemp monitoring program. Hemp Plan members get one-on-one consulting from knowledgeable consultants who are available when you need them most. If you want to take the guesswork out of growing hemp and focus on what matters most, call TPS Lab today and ask for your free consultation. Take the next step to a successful harvest. Visit tpslab.com or call today at 956-383-0739. Hey, this is Tommy Chong and you're listening to the Texas Hemp Show. The Texas Hemp Reporter is available free at all CBD and smoke shops in Houston and Austin, Texas. Expanding to Dallas and San Antonio this year. Cannabis is slowly becoming legal in Texas. So be sure to listen to the Texas Hemp Show podcast every week, wherever podcasts are available. The premier hemp and marijuana advocacy publication for Texas. The Texas Hemp Reporter magazine. Mailed to over 2,000 licensed hemp producers in Texas. Texas. News, technology, trends, finance, culture, health, all things hemp in the Lone Star State. Now in our third year, with more than 100,000 copies made available free at over 1,000 CBD and smoke shops in Texas. That's the Texas Hemp Reporter Magazine and the Texas Hemp Show. Visit online at TexasHempReporter.com and listen wherever podcasts are available. Now back to the show with your host, Russell Dowden. Up and smoke me when I die. And if anyone don't like it, just look on in the eye. I didn't come here and I ain't leaving, so don't sit around and cry. Just roll me up and smoke me when I die. Now you won't see no sad. All right, welcome eye. back to the Texas Hemp Show podcast. This is podcast number 81 this week. Joining us on the show again is uh, a CEO for the Loot brand, Mike Hobble, joining us on podcast number 81 this week. And you can roll me up and smoke me when I die there, Mike. Uh, little Will- Willie Nelson bringing us back from commercial break there. Um, good stuff, man. Um, I want to ask, um, can we talk about – well, first of all, I wanted to ask, uh, you have the, D- the Delta 8 – Cartridges. I saw the magic melon. That's like a, a thousand milligrams, Mike. Exactly. Is this is that a lot for a cartridge? It is a lot for a cartridge. I mean, when you talk about uh, you know most of these, when you the the milligram strength of the delta eight itself or any delta isn't you know you have the one gram uh, 
uh, cartridge in there, which is, that's what the description of that is, 1,000 milligrams inside there. But on the COA, you'll see that in a majority of cases on cartridges and also on disposables, there's anywhere from about 800 to 950 or so milligrams of actual Delta-8 in there because you have to have some terpenes in there in order to give it the flavor. Okay. Yeah, I just didn't know if the 1,000, if that's probably a high-grade uh, cartridge at 1,000. And I see these. You see 250s and 500s, and I just wanted to ask. I felt like that's probably a, a, a good cartridge to have. <laughs> yeah, it's a very good cartridge to have. Most of them land above 900 on there. Uh -huh, but if you uh -huh. had a full 1,000 of the Delta-8 itself, then uh, you wouldn't have any terpenes in there at all, which would give you no flavor. So you need to have some space in there in order to give it uh, that flavor. And we feel like we have the perfect blend of terpenes in each one of our carts and also our disposables because it gives, you know, as you know, Delta-8 itself is going to give you... A, uh, the distal is going to give you a real harsh hit on your throat and literally make you cough. Whereas the, if you add these terpenes to it, it will smooth it out. It tastes mm -hmm. better. And you don't have that, that harsh throat hit on any of these products that we have. So same thing with our gummies. We've gone through a lot of testing with our customer base with all of these cars and the terpene blends as well, getting not only the flavors just right, but also the smoothness of the hit itself. So it's very, very good products, very good top quality and consistent. How are your disposables doing, Mike? You've got the D8 and the D10 blends that you offer. Um, how, 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 how much, you know, how much do you guys move of the disposables? I saw those on the website earlier. It's moving better and better than it within the carts were initially, you know, carts were a big thing and then disposable started taking off. And now we're seeing the industry is moving into uh, two gram. Uh, and even sometimes even uh, uh, three gram uh, mm -hmm. carts, which I think, in my opinion, when you get too large like that, um, you're having too much distillate inside of a disposable, even though it's rechargeable, it has a tendency to clog or, or not uh, operate correctly. And then you have all this distillate in there. In my opinion, you're always much better sticking with a one gram uh, disposable. Uh, but we do have... Uh, a couple of them now. We have a D8 that's coming out that's a two gram, and we also have a blend that's a D8, D10, and THCO. That's the last one on the website. If you look at the website, the last product on there that uh, has a uh, uh, an actually uh, two gram uh, fill in it with a a battery that uh, you can continue to charge as well. So those are becoming as the industry changes and the customers begin to ask. Uh, more uh, for these products than we just develop what our customer base is asking us for. Well, can we talk a little move or maybe a little, little on the retail side, I guess, Mike, uh, Oh, you know, I spoke the other day and I've been having conversations with some of my clients, um, you know, retailers, uh, start introducing brands, uh, re retail market stores, stores that have, uh, um, they simply just start moving into the vertical integration of their having products. Sure. And, you know, here we are, we're kind of talking about, you know, your product, but, but you do have a retail side of your business uh, as well. But, you know, our conversation the other day was interesting uh, because it just seems like when I spoke to this, you know, the natural progression for many retailers, as I'm finding out that I, we, that we do business with, they, they are introducing their own brands and, um, this this is happening. This is a, co a common practice, isn't it, Mike? I think it is. Uh, I think you're seeing it more and more. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, we're even seeing it more and more requested of us, even though now we're developing our own products and our own labeling, and we actually have some of our own packaging. We're having uh, customers ask us, uh, uh, y your retail customers asking us, can we, or I'm sorry, our wholesale customers can you brand it with our name on it? So in other words, we like your product, but we want you to brand our name on it. So you see a lot of that happening. If they're mm -hmm. not working in that vertical market, like you're talking about creating their own product, they're literally utilizing somebody else's product and putting their brand on it. And it just, uh, it just it creates that loyalty uh, to, uh, to, the, uh, to the shop itself.
And, 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 you know, Mike, with all the stores you have, I forget if it's seven or six, I believe it's seven now, I think, uh, that, that you've got. Um, but you, you have that feedback from your customer base, which you said is around 10,000, that those guys help kind of test the marketing uh, of, of the loot, uh, and, and don't they? And you, you, what has that taught you as a business owner, you know, with the wholesale brand, you know, through your retail stores? Yeah, that's a, it's a very important part of it. Um, you know, we treat, we started this whole business with the, with a passion to be able to, uh, to not only help people in the vape with our, with our vape shops is to help people get off of smoking and, uh, and to be able to provide that, uh, for them. But, uh, now moving into this, into CBD, hemp, Delta eight medicinally, what this has done for individuals. We started with CBD and we started getting requests from our retail customers for CBD salves and roll ons and aches and joints. And so we created that product and uh, that product just flew off of the shelf. And uh, mm -hmm. we put the loot on it. We started to do our own juice. And then the next thing we uh, saw is the industry was changing more customers in the retail, uh, in our retail market, where in our stores. We're asking us for uh, the disposables and the carts and the gummies and and everything else. And so as they were asking us for those things, the natural process was is to say, OK, we have these products. Let us give them to you so that uh, you can test them and try them and give us some feedback. And with that feedback, we're able to create these formulas uh, for our manufacturers for the best taste in products. And, you know, if you got five thousand to ten thousand people that are loving those products in our own stores, it's going to work very, very well in other locations. Yeah, that's cool. We're scrolling through the website here uh, for uh, for viewers. Uh, what else do you guys offer? I saw some Kratom, I think, uh, even some dab products. You've got some e-liquids. Uh, talk about some of the other the things that you guys have on uh, the website as well, Mike. There, there's yeah, we, quite a... Yeah, Navigate. Uh, we spend a lot of time on the website, too. Um, the... The, the website is, you can easily navigate to all of the different uh, uh, categories that we have. Where, like you mentioned, the salts and the e-liquid, the kratom. Uh, the kratom is the mangda, which is, uh, uh, you know, straight from Thailand. Uh, so it's the, the premium best type of kratom you can get. And it's for us, we're able to get this because of our, our locations and we have an immediate market for that we're able to buy this in massive quantity and it allows us to be able to to get some really really good pricing not only to our customers but to the industry as well and uh, some of our pricing that we have is just the or all of the pricing especially on the kratom nobody can beat us on the kratom on the wholesale market and uh, the prices you're seeing right there are suggested retail obviously the wholesale and the distro prices for anybody that wants to distro this product mm -hmm. is much much less than that so but you have to there's a tab on the on the website that says wholesale and when you click on wholesale it actually allows you to be able to uh, uh, register your business mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. provide your uh, your sales certificate it, it, it sets everything up for you so that uh, basically comes into us at that point we set you up a wholesale account and then I've got a, uh, a representative in Houston, Texas that uh, follows up and then takes you through the entire site and uh, all of the products or samples or whatever you might need to have. On well, that's so. that's really cool for our retailers. You know, the, the Texas Hemp Reporter magazine is available in you know San Antonio. We've got about 225 stores that we're expanding into San Antonio. There's uh, about 200 stores in Houston that we're uh, slowly penetrating into w with the magazines over there. We've been over there for six months in Houston, and uh, and then there's over 225 stores, and these are all, you know, smoke shops to CBD stores. Uh, so if any of those types of listeners are tuning in, and you guys want to try uh, the loot, check out the lootjuice.com. That's the the wholesale order page that you would actually go to that we were on. Mike, can you tell us the difference between the bulk order and the wholesale order i guess bulk orders is bulk order for the retail public that just want to order more than one or two items uh tell us a little bit about bulk orders and how that differentiates from the the from the uh, wholesale retail well, market we, we actually have uh three different types of customers for the loot obviously one of them is retail and it's the retail pricing that you see on the website itself 
It can also serve as the retail pricing that you might consider charging inside your store if you want to. We're never going to sell for for less than what the the retail market is out there. We don't want to take business from the retail stores. We also um, uh, the second type of customer is our wholesale customer, and those are your physical locations for you know your smoke shops and your vape shops, and they have a specific price. But there are some smoke shops and vape shops that like to buy locally from a distributor that's either within Houston or Austin. And within those particular, we call those uh, uh, distros, distributors, and uh, we have a separate price point for those distros. So the distros can make a little bit of money. So they have okay. an opportunity to put that on their shelf. And then the vape shops or smoke shops can go directly to those distros and pick the loot up as well there. Well, I saw that that was kind of your form there was the just kind of a disclaimer there, just telling folk, telling customers on the wholesale order that you're just you're only required to grab that data for your end for uh, for customers. Um, uh, so every state operates differently. And I saw that um, on the, the types of li licenses that are required. Uh, but you guys just have to grab that information uh, so that you have have a log of that, right? Absolutely. If you're going to be shipping anything like that, then uh, especially to the wholesale, we can't do it to the retail market necessarily, but in the wholesale market, we can. Yeah. Well, very, very cool. Let's take another quick commercial break and we will come back and wrap up with our, our guest, uh, thelootjuice.com. Check out the website, The Loot Juice. Our guest, Mike Hobble, this week on the program. And Mike has some uh, retail stores that we may shout out to on the other side of the break. This is the Texas Hemp Show podcast, number 81. And we'll be right back after this with our guest, Mike Hobble. You sex a thing, sex a thing, you. Soul Grown Farms is a proud supporter of the Texas Hemp Show. We are commercial growers of hemp specializing in producing the highest quality of CBD, CBG, and CBN. All of our products have been given an unmatched level of care, which comes from pouring our soul into every aspect of the growing process. Loaded Best Hemp in Colorado this year. Our commercial hemp flower is available for white label purchase today by visiting online at soulgrownfarms.com or by calling our commercial farm in Colorado today at 303-598-2311. That's 303-598-2311. We invite you to taste what Colorado already knows. That's at SoulGrownFarms.com. At TFNB, your bank for life, we understand the unique struggles this emerging market creates for early adopters. We love working with innovative entrepreneurs on the next big thing, and we believe hemp is exactly that. For over 130 years, we've been getting to know our clients and helping them plan for their future. Come tell us your story and plans for your venture. TFNB Bank, your bank for hemp. Proud to support Texas farmers. Visit online at tfnbtx.com. Hey, this is Cheech Marin, and you're listening to the Texas Hemp Show. The Texas Hemp Show is brought to you by Your Business Here. Why take a chance with your hemp grow? Join Hemp Plan and avoid the risk. TPS Labs' exclusive hemp monitoring program. Hemp Plan members get one-on-one -on -one consulting from knowledgeable consultants who are available when you need them most. If you want to take the guesswork out of growing hemp and focus on what matters most, call TPS Lab today and ask for your free consultation. Take the next step to a successful harvest. Visit tpslab.com or call today at 956-383-0739. Hey, this is Tommy Chong, and you're listening to The Texas Hemp Show. The Texas Hemp Reporter is available free at all CBD and smoke shops in Houston and Austin, Texas. Expanding to Dallas and San Antonio this year. Cannabis is slowly becoming legal in Texas, so be sure to listen to the Texas Hemp Show podcast every week, wherever podcasts are available. The premier hemp and marijuana advocacy publication for Texas, the Texas Hemp Reporter Magazine. 
mail to over 2,000 licensed hemp producers in Texas. News, technology, trends, finance, culture, health, all things hemp in the Lone Star State. Now in our third year, with more than 100,000 copies made available free at over 1,000 CBD and smoke shops in Texas. That's the Texas Hemp Reporter Magazine and the Texas Hemp Show. Visit online at TexasHempReporter.com and listen wherever podcasts are available. Now, back to the show with your host, Russell Dowden. All right, welcome back to the Texas Tim Show podcast number 81. Thank you guys for tuning in this week on the show. We had a great show last week. We want to thank my um, my co-hosts we had on the show. And we had Lee. Yeah, Lee, Lee Hempseeds was on last week with Andrea Steele on the program co-hosting. So that was a really cool show. Great and we're going to mix up. Uh, some of our co-hosts in the coming weeks as we get into the summer. And I know Shada Tarabi is going to be co-hosting from Restart CBD next week on the show. And my guest uh, is going to be uh, Jesse and John Kearns from New Bloom Labs will be on the program uh, next week as we do Podcast 82. So uh, welcome back to the show. I, man, I can't believe we've been doing this 81 times, Carl. It's uh, uh it's gotten uh, we're getting up there with our our shows. In fact, Shada Tarabi, who hosts uh, her show, is called um, "To Be Blunt," and her Facebook post. I don't know if anybody saw or noticed, but uh, she celebrated a 100 podcasts uh, this week. And so I'm only 20 podcasts behind her, so she's got a little leap start on us. But uh, be looking forward to having her on the show. Our guest this week on Podcast 81 uh, is uh, Mike with uh, The Loot. And you can check out his website online, guys, and order his products, thelootjuice.com. Uh, welcome back to the podcast, Mike. Thanks for being a part of the show, my friend. You bet. Glad to be here. And I have no doubt you'll catch up with that 100 really soon. <laughs> yeah. Not quite the setup there, man. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> Well, thank you. It's it's uh, it's been a, an evolution for sure. And uh, you sh if, if you look at our studio today here in Round Rock, compared to what we had, um, you know, seventy nine episodes ago, it was uh, it was not video. We, we uh, not at all did we have video. We were doing it at another studio across town, and uh, we've grown uh, as our business has grown. And, and with your help, Mike, uh, you, you've been a great sponsor of, of the Texas Hemp Reporter. Uh, and did you hear my little promo, uh, Mike, that says you can sponsor the, the show? Yeah. Uh, I, I ran that in there. That's new. We, we, we don't always run that little one in there, and I – and I uh, and I want to thank you though because you've been a good sponsor and you've sponsored the the podcast with uh, Mike's uh, Mike's spot has the give me the loot uh, you you guys have heard that spot before numerous times I'm <laughs> sure so uh, but that's, that's a, a great great spot um, but thank you fire off the uh, anything else we're cut we're we're remiss or that you want to cover or just. Uh, uh, emphasize on on another product. I've got a couple of minutes left with you here, and I just want to give you the opportunity to make sure you've covered every brand and and uh, dotted uh, your I's and crossed your T's on on some of the products there. Yeah, I really appreciate it. I just uh, I'll do I'll mention one thing that uh, you know we talked a little bit about vertical markets and the retail mm -hmm. market versus the wholesale market, and maybe some of those kind of coming together and other stores that were that were doing very similar things, whether they were branding their own store name or doing something something different. And we opted to to brand it differently, to have our retail location separate from uh, from the wholesale location. We felt it was best to do that. And uh, uh, we actually got a lot of feedback uh, on on that request as well. So uh, it, give, it gives us an opportunity to expand that brand pretty good. But the brand we have on the retail end of it is Drip and Rip Vapes. And Drip and Rip Vapes has are the locations in North Austin and also Williamson County. Uh, William, that uh, 
that customer base. We started as a, as a family business in 2014, simple little shop in Round Rock, Texas. Mm -hmm. And right. uh, we, since that time, we've just absolutely exploded. And I, and I don't attribute that to just because of a product set that we're selling. Uh, I really believe that it's just the family atmosphere that we have, the, all of the employees, uh, we consider them family, all of our customers, uh, they're like family to us, like I said, providing that type of feedback and that, that excitement and that encouragement, it just kind of blossoms into everything. It's a culture that yeah. we're in right here. And uh, you're either part of the culture or you just try to make money off, off of the culture. And uh, what we've always done and what we've always believed is that we're part of this and we're part of this yeah. as a family. And it's not just the employees, it's the customers and everything about it. And if you make money off of doing it, fantastic. That's great. But, uh, you know, let's let's have fun. I mean, it truly yeah. is all about uh, all about having fun. If you're not having fun, you need to get out of the business. Well, I think that's a, that's a strong, valid point that you make, uh, Mike. I remember when you first opened the Georgetown location for your retail store there, um, you guys ran an ad in one of my old, older, ma my, my music magazine. And I don't know how many years ago that was maybe 2015. <laughs> um, that was a while back. When did you open Georgetown up? Georgetown was opened up in uh, about uh, 2018. Oh, 2018. Uh, 2014 was round rock. Uh -huh. Yeah. That's yeah. right. And I'd been to the Round Rock store before um, you guys were working with me on my old publication. Yep, but yep. you know what, Mike, Mike, I went to the Georgetown store uh, on a Sunday and I don't know it was uh, it was the week of around 420. But you guys had that store's come a long way. That store's really looking good, by the way. <laughs> I want to <laughs> tell you very much. Yeah, that, yeah that, that's, that put a lot of work into that one. We uh, we totally renovated that building and separated it out, and we have the smoke shop <laughs> section separated from the base. It's yeah, a good looking it's, shop, man. We like yeah, it. it's a really good looking shop. And, and there was something going on, like a birthday party or something was happening. I came in and left some magazines in there because my, my in laws live in Georgetown, and I was uh -huh. driving right by. And I, I went in there and I was like, man, this, I almost wanted to hang out in there. There was something going on. My and guess uh, is it's a common occurrence over there. <laughs> <laughs> but you do have a it's very good, good staff, Mike. There's a, there, it's a very family. Every time I go into the Round Rock one, the guys are very cool. Uh, everybody's uh, just uh, just uh, really down to earth. And, and I think that really speaks to the culture in this space. Um, if you love what you're doing, you know, success will come. And, mm -hmm. and I think I can, I can speak to that in, um, in, in the, I've been in the magazine business now, Mike, for, you know, 20 years. And, um, but I've always been a, a starch advocate for this plant Whether in, in my other publications, I, I've always had a, a kind of a cannabis friendly vibe to the things that we talk about in our magazines and doing this in this space now, uh, with the, with the hemp magazine cover, covering cannabis in the Lone Star State, it's just a real, it's a real treat and an honor and a lot of fun to, to be exploring this. And I, and I, I was speaking to this last week on my show and I'll ask this and toss this to you. Uh, isn't it a nice, exciting time to be in this space here in Texas? Uh, we don't have the greatest cannabis program yet, Mike, but, um, uh, it, it's a very exciting time to be in this space. Would you agree? I w absolutely would agree. And yeah. uh, the great thing about being in a challenging space like this, when you see controversy and things like that happening, happening is that we're pretty innovative and uh, we're, we, we tend to self-regulate ourselves. And uh, as, as the industry changes, we seem to be able to adapt quickly to that. And that's what I love about this so much. I, I never get worried that, uh, uh, about things that are happening out there politically, because I know one way or another, uh, this industry will find a way to to survive and do the right thing. Well, we've got, um, you know, the the laws with Delta Eight are going to be set for a couple of, well, at least at least till maybe twenty twenty three is what I understand. Mm -hmm. I, I think we've got over that big hump with that. So um, we. According to Hometown Hero, the next court date, I think they said, was going to take place in 18 months, which, which puts us around July of 2023 before that even come back and, and discuss that. Um, but uh, um, if you want to 
Fire off the website, Mike. Tell them, give them a coupon, give them a deal, give them something to chew on. Think about how can they, how can our customers and our listeners, uh, you know, come out there, reach out to you guys, and 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 get an order in, either retail or wholesale from the Loop. Absolutely. So if you go to thelootjuice.com and you go ahead and go to that wholesale tab, <clears throat> complete that and uh, and let us know. Even if you want to send us a note and comment that uh, uh, you heard about it on the podcast today, uh, know that. Uh, that uh, we'll work you out something really, really good. And uh, we'll probably, not probably, we will provide some marketing material for you, um, whether it's uh, it's flags or flavor cards or things like that, uh, hats, shirts, merchandise, whatever you may need in order to help uh, promote the product or get it on the shelf. It's already pretty. It already looks really nice uh, with, the, with the marketing that we have uh, on the label. So uh, it'll look, it'll look really good on the shelf, but whatever we can do to, to help you get there and help you get the right kind of price points you need to make money. Uh, we're there to help you. We're in the industry too. We know what it takes. We know how competitive right. it is and, uh, and we can help you get to that price point you need to be to make money. So we'll help you. Well, uh, and uh, if Carl can bring up the, um, the, we just finished completing the ad that you're going to be running in the new issue of the Texas Hemp Reporter. I wanted to see if we might share that. Uh, that's on, that's, you can screen share that, or, or that's actually a, a graphic you can pull up. I think, Carl, uh, not not so much screen share, but uh, that's the blue one that that was on uh, the, the. Yeah, maybe we can share that with him. I wanted just to get that up so viewers can see uh, the new ad that's available here. Here we go. This is now. I didn't get back with you yesterday, Mike. You never told me if this was okay. We added. <laughs> uh, we that did one add the beautiful. That's yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah. That's that's the new branding and the new label for the for the gummies that we have. So. You guys have to check that out. Even if you want some samples, if you fill out that, you need me to send you some samples. And, you know, like Russell was talking about, there's some pretty crazy flavors with that as well. And I think uh, you, your customers will absolutely, the, the texture of them, the, uh, the effects of them, they're just, they're, they're good, good products. Yeah, this is really cool. The um, Delta 8, and you have all the different types of, uh, you know, uh, different uh, uh, types of them that you, you can also share. So what, what's I, well, that, that was one of the things that I didn't realize, Mike, is you had the you had the CBD, the Delta Eight, the Ten, um, uh, the Delta Nine. So you had all of those different ones. And when I first started building the ad with the artwork you'd given me, I didn't realize that they were all not all the same. Um, oh yeah, as, as far. One. Yeah, yeah, coming out too, a THCP that uh, we're coming out with probably here within the next two or three weeks. So that's another thing that, uh, you know, like I said, the, the industry the industry and the demand changes. And unless you're on the front lines and mm -hmm. seeing what's happening and what's uh, what uh, folks are asking for, you really don't see it. And by being there and, and, and having a good understanding and networking, it keeps you plugged in on, on, uh, on, on where the demand is and where the need is. And so that's... Uh, that that's an additional product that's coming out of the gummy line too. Yeah, the gummy line is uh, something that's very popular out there, and you guys having add that added that new line uh, is uh, going to be exciting to see. And and I'm sure the flavors for the gummies, as, ex as exotic as they are, uh, are 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 just uh, as uh, good as the the flavor of those those um, your your vape and, and the rest of those products. Uh, they always have a very strong flavor. That wild berry, uh, mint lemon. Uh, Bubba Kush, you've got uh, some really good flavors, and so I'm sure the gummies are just as just as good as uh, uh, as the smokable products. Oh, yeah. And you know what? I'll mention one more thing real quick. I know we're getting to the end, but if you look at the at the edibles on the website, you don't have to do it right now, but later on, if you'll notice the packaging on those, we felt because we're family friendly as well, we wanted to make sure they weren't in just some, you see a lot of gummies now in the retail market that are just in a bag. And uh, they're in a in a in a sealed type bag. Well, in our opinion, what we wanted is to have not only uh, uh, a safety uh, on on the uh, uh, on the jar itself, but we wanted mm -hmm. a child proof. So not only is it tamper proof, but it's also child proof because gummies can be really tempting, right? Yeah. Um, and we 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 definitely want to make sure that that's only available for 
adults 21 years of age and older. And so you have that locking cap on there, which I oh, think very is cool. a true benefit. So not only do you have the marketing and that, believe it or not, that came from feedback as well from our customers. That was It was one of those critical components. And that's part of being on the ground floor. So not only does it look good, it look appealing on your shelf, but I think your customers will appreciate that you have something there that's going to keep them happy and then keep their children safe. Well, uh, thank you so much for being on the show, Mike. I think that the products are beautiful. They look the the, the branding is is amazing. Uh, everything looks uh, fantastic. Um, can we fire off a? Can I give out your phone number too, Mike? Just in case people want to call, or is there is that all right? Yeah, it's right there on the ad, right? It yeah, there? it sure is. It yeah. sure is. It's that 512-598-5642. That's the number to call if you want retail or wholesale, but 512-598-5642. He's got the Delta 8, the THC, the HHC, uh, the Delta 10. Uh, no one beats their wholesale uh, pricing there at the loot, and uh, like you said, there's always uh, some good margin for her, for the retailers out there if they want to try the products. I think the branding is always fabulous looking, and and uh, you've done a fantastic job, your team, uh, with uh, uh, building this brand. And so, uh, thelootjuice.com, folks, check that out. And um, uh, thank you again, Mike, for being a part of the show this week. Thank you for having me. We'll see you. All right, we'll see you. There he goes. We'll take another quick quick break this will be a short break and uh this is the texas hip show podcast and we'll be back after this soul grown farms is a proud supporter of the texas hemp show we are commercial growers of hemp specializing in producing the highest quality of cbd cbg and cbn All of our products have been given an unmatched level of care, which comes from pouring our soul into every aspect of the growing process. Loaded Best Hemp in Colorado this year. Our commercial hemp flower is available for white label purchase today by visiting online at soulgrownfarms.com or by calling our commercial farm in Colorado today at 303-598-2311. That's 303-598-2311. We invite you to taste what Colorado already knows. That's at SoulGrownFarms.com. At TFNB, your bank for life, we understand the unique struggles this emerging market creates for early adopters. We love working with innovative entrepreneurs on the next big thing, and we believe hemp is exactly that. For over 130 years, we've been getting to know our clients and helping them plan for their future. Come tell us your story and plans for your venture. TFNB Bank, your bank for hemp. Proud to support Texas farmers. Visit online at tfnbtx.com. Hey, this is Cheech Marine, and you're listening to the Texas Hemp Show. The Texas Hemp Show is brought to you by Your Business Here. Why take a chance with your hemp grow? Join Hemp Plan and avoid the risk. TPS Labs exclusive hemp monitoring program. Hemp Plan members get one-on-one consulting from knowledgeable consultants who are available when you need them most. If you want to take the guesswork out of growing hemp and focus on what matters most, call TPS Lab today and ask for your free consultation. Take the next step to a successful harvest. Visit tpslab.com or call today at 956-383-0739. Hey, this is Tommy Chong and you're listening to the Texas Hemp Show. The Texas Hemp Reporter is available free at all CBD and smoke shops in Houston and Austin, Texas. Expanding to Dallas and San Antonio this year. Cannabis is slowly becoming legal in Texas. So be sure to listen to the Texas Hemp Show podcast every week, wherever podcasts are available. The premier hemp and marijuana advocacy publication for Texas. The Texas Hemp Reporter Magazine. 
mail to over 2,000 licensed hemp producers in Texas. News, technology, trends, finance, culture, health, all things hemp in the Lone Star State. Now in our third year, with more than 100,000 copies made available free at over 1,000 CBD and smoke shops in Texas. That's the Texas Hemp Reporter Magazine and the Texas Hemp Show. Visit online at TexasHempReporter.com and listen wherever podcasts are available. Now, back to the show with your host, Russell Dowden. All right, welcome back to the conclusion of podcast number 81 of the Texas Hemp Show podcast. Again, I'm Russell with the Texas Hemp Reporter Magazine. Thank you to my guest this week, Mike Hobble of The Loot, uh, chiming in with us. Uh, always great to have him uh, tell, talk about his products. Uh, if you're interested in being a guest on the show, we're booking for August right now, and you can email me at texashempreporter at gmail. Dot com and that's my email address you can send me an email if you're interested in having your product or or business profile here on the show and um, we also offer those kind of uh, marketing services within the magazine as well Mike runs a great beautiful ad with us in the Texas hemp reporter magazine every month and uh, his uh, ads will be in there uh, as you saw here on this week's show so you can always run a display ad with us we are available in Roughly right now, we're in over 700 smoke shops in the state in Houston, San Antonio, and Austin. And my promo says 1,000, but that's because we're going to be adding Dallas later this year. And so uh, here's a preview of our June issue. Carl can flip through here a little bit if you want. But this is kind of just kind of what we've got cooking for our second anniversary edition. Uh, this will be our 12th issue. We do publish every other month. And so... Uh, yeah, we've got some. Uh, oh, there's a cool event coming up. Uh, this is Rip uh, Ripple Fest is coming up in July with some cool uh, rock and metal. I've actually interviewed the Sword before in uh, a great metal band. Uh, I've had them in Rockstar Magazine over the years. But a great event coming up, and um, there's Shada uh, kicking butt as she does our our payment invoicing service that we've now signed up for and using as Flex. A CBD payment processing for CBD and businesses in the, the hemp and cannabis space. So check those out. But this is uh, just a preview of what we're working on right now. And uh, we're uh, we're excited to, to get the uh, upcoming edition coming um, out here in mid-June. Looks like about June 3rd or maybe that first weekend of June is when I when I actually think that the the next edition will will be available in the June-July issue. So we'll look forward uh, to that. Um, I wanted to shout out to Soul Grown Farms. They're they're the guys that gave us some cannabis for our 420. This is a high quality CBD uh, flower that that they gave us uh, some time ago. I lit some of this up on the 420 show, which I've never done, but I did on 420. Uh, light a CBD one of these up. Uh, great stuff. Smells good. Soul Grown Farms is uh, now a, a new supporter and sponsor of the Texas Hemp Show. And uh, uh, check them out at uh, soulgrownfarms.com. So I want to thank uh, um, uh, Darren, uh, the guys from over there. They they were good guys. And I think they were on podcast 78 or 7 or something a couple of weeks back, about a month ago or so. Uh, so special thanks to... Uh, uh, Soul Grown Farms for sponsoring the show this week on the program. And let's see, next week we will have Shada Tarabi from Restart CBD co-hosting with me here on the podcast. That'll be podcast 82. Catching up with you, uh, Shada, by the way. And our guest next week on the show will be uh, brothers uh, John and Jesse uh, Kearns from New Bloom Labs. And those guys are... Um, uh, big part of the Texas Hemp Coalition that we are joining, and uh, there's an announcement coming soon about the um, 
the, the Hip Coalition's new festival they're having. I think they're going to put that out actually now in August uh, as, uh, as uh, that's going to give us a little more time to work on that event. So that's what Alyssa Nolan has uh, reported to me. So, um, so anyway, stay tuned, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for being a part of this week's program, and uh, we'll see you next week on the Texas Hip Show podcast. Thanks, guys, for tuning in.